Hello friends. In my last video, I showed how you can easily create filled rounded rectangles to make these kinds of shapes. But what if you want to just create the outside line of a shape? Whether it's a rounded rectangle, a pill shape, or even something else. Well, today I'd like to show you a couple of ways to do so using the effects. So how do we create this effect? Well, pretty easily as it happens. And as with all effects, remember that it affects everything in the column that you apply the effect to. So start off with your drawing in its own column, then go to one of the rooms with the effects schematic, and I'll go to the schematic room. And be sure that you're viewing the effects schematic by looking at the top of the schematic window here. And if it's the stage schematic, click the button at the bottom right to flip it back. Then, the effect to add the outline for Toons Vector and Toons Raster Levels is in the Toons Levels section, and it's the outline effect. So right click on your column and add that, and then turn on the preview at the top of the viewer, and you'll see your shape with an outline. And if you double click on the outline node and then adjust the thickness, you can set its outline thickness. Then all you have to do is to remove your original drawing to leave only the outline. And to do that, you need to add the matte out effect from the matte section. So we'll apply that after the outline node. And then plug the column into the matte input of the matte node. And that's it. Two nodes to create this effect. And then once this is set up, you can double click on the outline node again and change the line thickness from there. Notice that the outline is the same colour as the outside of your drawing. So if you want a different colour, just change the colour of your shape. And you might notice that the edges of the line are blurred or anti-aliased. And there's a few ways to remove these. One of them is to add an Adjust Levels node from the Image Adjust section. And then we'll reduce the alpha input. And the more you reduce it, the less alpha you'll see. So drop the input down to one to get a solid outline. And that's fine for the Toons raster and Toons vector levels. But what about plain raster levels? Well, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But first, if you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up as that helps YouTube know that the video was useful to you. And I also want to quickly thank my Patreon supporters for all of their support. With special thanks to our Teapot supporters, Maria, Robert and Rodney, who along with the supporters on my Teamug tier could all watch this video a week early simply by becoming a Patreon. So why not check out all of the tiers in my tea service and start getting the benefits of becoming a supporter. So back to the outlines. To add an outline to a standard raster level, you need to use a different effect. And again, add your raster image or animation to its own column. And then in a room with the effect schematic, we'll add a new effect for that column. And that's the erode dilation effect from the matte section. And once you've added that, just turn on the preview again. Then double clicking this node, it lets you see its thickness. So adjust that until you've got the right thickness that you think you might need. And again, we'll just add a matte out effect to remove the original drawing, plugging in the column as the matte, which leaves just the outline. So once you can see the outline, that's when it's useful to set its drawing type, either to square or to round, and to set the line thickness. So that's how you can use the effects to create an outline only of your drawing. Why not try it out for yourself? And if you wanted to see how I created the rounded rectangle that I've been using today, you can check out last week's video just here. Or check out this video for more useful OpenTunes tips. And I'll see you next time for another video. And that's a guarantee.